But we aren't talking about shifting that dramatically for those that are receiving payments or those that are getting ready to receive those payments. But longer term, there has got to be a move outside of that system. I mean, ultimately, we want to transfer power back to the states so that the states can take out the mantle of those programs if they so desire. Uh, in you know, the shorter term, I think that there are many plans that have been proposed that can move the shift or shift this away from government control into you know, a sector where we can actually protect those funds. I mean, if it's a privatized system, for example, I can ensure that I put my money in an account that the government is then not going to steal from. But frankly, what's happened up till date, you know, I'm 43, paid into the Social Security system, I, I frankly don't expect to see much of that because the government's stolen from me. And I think most Americans recognize that system's broken, and they understand that there has got to be a change longer term to bring back some fiscal sanity and to ensure that you can actually have something when you do retire, uh, it, rather it, than it, depend on these IOUs that, you know, when we go insolvent, aren't going to be worth much. It is an issue, as you well know, that can be easily demagogued. So I want to deliver a statement. You tell me if it's fair or not. That Joe Miller says anybody in the system or close to the system is fine. We won't do anything significant to change your benefits. But how about an American born tomorrow or born the day after Senator Joe Miller was sworn in in Washington? Would that person perhaps grow up in America where there is not a federal Social Security program if you got your way? Absolutely. That's a fair statement. No, no demagoguery there at all.